Simmer Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are resuming building for my save file and this home is in the more wealthy area of Willow Creek and you can kind of tell the difference. All the homes in this area will be mostly brick and a little bit more formal looking, less, um, I don't want to say less suburban, but more like, you know, fancy movie rich suburban areas if you catch my drift so they're going to be a little bit boxier um like i said more mostly made out of brick or stone very little siding and you know very kind of estate looking on the outside um i did name this area of town willow estates and this is where you're going to be finding the goth family um, they're going to be next door neighbors to this family right here and for a little bit of storytelling so this family that i'm building the house for today is for two politicians um i did think that they were a gay couple and they had met while they were lobbying and fighting for social justice in san machuno um they both were from san machuno and they met when they joined their political careers and they fell in love and they you know had their young adulthood together they traveled they got really wealthy in their careers they helped bring change and you know needed relief to different people and different groups of people and now they have decided to settle down and they've bought this manor for themselves and their two adopted children um, I did think the adopted children were a part of a family, so I did think that they probably were looking to adopt a single child, and then they saw that this one group of kids, um, the, a teenager and a child, were going to be separated because no one wanted to adopt the both of them. So they decided since they had the space and the money, they would go ahead and adopt both instead of just one. So that's kind of the story behind this family. And I'm super excited about this. I've been wanting to start building in this area of town for a while, but I wanted to start with kind of more familiar families, you know, the pancakes, and play off of their story at first before I started getting into more of the, you know, separated stories inside of Willow Creek but as you can see the outside of this home has pretty much come together it has brick accents um, it's the brick from get famous I use this same brick on the uh, detectives home in the more like moderate area of Willow Creek and I did that and I mentioned it in that video as well because I figured Willow Creek was a really old neighborhood a lot of the homes have been built around the same time and even though some of them have been updated and enlarged and modernized like this home they all have some of the same skeletal skeletal bones as you know all the other ones in the area so You'll see quite a few different aspects of homes that are matchy across all the different neighborhoods, even though these look a little bit more formal. And we're adding some accents to the home right now. I'm using cats and dogs windows mixed with, uh, I think it's romantic garden windows. And I just did that because the romantic garden windows looked a little bit more estate-y than the, the cats and dogs windows. But I definitely thought that the couple who lived in this home had two kind of separate styles. Like I said, they were both from San Machuno, but I thought one of them maybe was a little bit more modern and bright and colorful and then the other one had maybe always wanted a farmhouse and that's why they kind of compromised on Willow Creek. They One of them really wanted like a giant farm. They wanted to retire, garden and stuff like that and the other one was like, no, I'm not really into that but we can have an estate home. So I that's kind of like I felt like this home was like the meshing of the minds if you will. And we're doing the landscaping right now. It's nothing too fancy. Um, it's a lot of hedges, like green, bright green hedges um, and white flowers. I didn't want to do anything overly colorful here in the front because I definitely thought that the more modern sim was a little bit more cookie cutter, a little bit more clean. They had their style and it was sleek and modern and not very, you know, different tastes. Um, like I said, they are colorful, so when we get onto the inside, you will be able to tell that they have a little bit of a more free style on the inside of the home than the outside. Um, I also did a driveway. Obviously, yes, I know we do not have workable cars in The Sims, but I thought it kind of matched this style of home. You know, they have the one driveway with the two fancy cars out front because, you know, they are politicians. And then I'm placing some trash cans and mailboxes around. And then over here, I'm doing a little bit of a larger garden patch, and I have one on the back of the house as well. These two garden patches are where the color kind of comes in on the outside, and it's because I add a 
whole bunch of different flowers and stuff. I thought that maybe these were the two garden patches that the Sims actually took care of themselves versus having like a person come in and plant for them and take care of it for them. And then now we are on to the inside. And like I said, the inside is kind of like a meshing of the minds. So there's going to be a lot of modern touches and yet classic traditional neutral tones and stuff like that with brights, like pops of color here and there. Because I definitely thought that these two Sims worked really well together and they got along really well and they were trying to just, you know, complete each other's lives basically. Um, it is not an open floor plan. Like I said, I thought all of the homes built in Willow Creek were pretty old, so none of them will really have that open of a floor plan. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a break here. There's like a hallway entrance area that has the front and back doors. Um, each door has a rug, and I wasn't really quite sure how to furnish this area because it's not a living room, it's not a dining room, and it just has no purpose besides being like the break between the two sides of the house. So it's a little wonky, I want to say. It's a little mismesh, but I think in the end it turns out okay, especially since it's kind of just a transitional area. And then now we are on into the dining room. So the dining room, I'm using the season's table mixed with the tiny living chairs. The wood tones don't match. The wood tone on the table is white, but I figured they probably did the white table to match the windows and like the door accents and stuff like that. And then they're bringing in the neutral tones from the walls and the floor in with the chairs. And then I also decided to go with neutral blue curtains in the other side of the house there's a lot more bright colors there's like some pinks and purples and stuff like that and I decided to bring those in more of the artwork because I thought that it would be you know this area of the home was a little bit more towards the farming sim um, the one who had initially wanted to like own a farm with their family and kind of throw all the modern necessities off to the wayside I thought maybe they had a little bit more of a say in some of these decorations especially in the dining room and the kitchen area because I thought that they wanted like a big happy family home so they had, they have like, it's their kitchen and it's their dining room and they have, you know, their taste throughout. Um, and then in here, like I said, big happy family kitchen. So I am using the parenthood kitchen stuff. And at first I was going to kind of split up the kitchen, but then I realized the way I had it set up, it really wasn't going to work that way. So you can kind of see here, I'm not placing a sink or a stove um, because I was going to place them on the other side of the kitchen. And kind of leave the area where those two windows are blank but I do decide to end up adding them in a little bit later I'm kind of cluttering up the counters right now and I'm going to add a giant family like farm style island and I'm kicking myself because I forgot that parenthood came with a sink because it's like not you have to search for it in the catalog because it's like a farmhouse style sink so it's attached to the counters and I really wish I had remembered to use it because I think that that would have looked so much better on this counter than the sink I'm using here but it's okay I can always go back in and add it later but you saw right there I just added the stove in because I realized with this farmhouse island I wasn't gonna have enough space to um add in a stove anywhere else and then I'm cluttering up the island a little bit too but I'm making sure to leave one of these counters open because none of the other counters have space for your sim to actually cook on so I'm trying to make sure that there was at least one usable counter space and then over here I have some dog bowls I did think you know big happy family they were gonna have some pets uh, I was definitely thinking more along the lines of dogs I do put some dog training stuff out in the backyard and then in here is the living room so it's kind of an awkward shape you can kind of see I've placed a little mini desk area off to the corner obviously this home does not have a study or a studio or anything like that but the parents are politicians and whereas I thought that they were mostly retired I definitely thought they still did like some charity work or some like work around the community politics and stuff like that so I wanted to make sure they still had a little bit of a desk area for them to do some of their work and everything and then the uh, furniture is a mix of eco lifestyle and tiny living. Uh, I used the same couch that I used in the entranceway, but I used a different color. And then I'm in this is the room where you can really kind of tell that the the neutral sim won out, and the other sim kind of had to just throw in their pops of color here and there because you can see the lamp in the background has that purple base, and there's a blue rug, and then there's the little like book crate thing that we got from tiny living i don't know what to call it but it has a little plant and then some books and it's in like this wooden box and the books and the uh plant and the candles have different colors in them so you can kind of see where the pops of color came from as well as over here with the lamp and some of the other decorations um and then we are going to be placing just a couple of curtains around i don't place curtains on all the windows because they don't necessarily look the best on the 
romantic garden windows. I do place them inside of one of the bedrooms though because I thought it was really weird having these giant windows in a bedroom without any curtains. And then over here we're cluttering up this little side uh, shelf thing here. It's technically a bookshelf. Um, it's from Get Famous and I'm just using my red shelf to make sure that all the clutter items are sitting perfectly on to the cabinet. And then you can kind of see there's a picture here. I do end up deleting that picture because I realized that there's supposed to be two kids living in this home and there's no TV or any activities for them to do. So I decided to go ahead and add in the TV and the gaming cube just so that way the kids had something to do. But I am going to say I'm going to leave this voice over here before we get into the bedrooms. I have a busy week this time with work and I don't have enough time to sit and do the rest of this voiceover. But I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and you enjoyed this story. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below what you thought and how you think this save file is going so far but besides that that is it for this so I hope to see you all next time bye Thank you.